Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. an entire week off and it feels like I haven't filmed for so long which is right because it's been a week so maybe that didn't work but I've had a week off and it has been bliss although I have been you'll be pleased to know very busy with painting my shelves yes painting my shelves they are halfway done <laughs> I have finished one shelf I have almost finished another shelf that'll be done this afternoon so I'm very pleased that my patrons my VIP patrons have already seen it I have got one two three four five those sections are easy to do so I've got five from 15 sections or 16 sections I have five left so you will be pleased that middle one that I'm looking at I am going to be cursing my husband because that was his idea. You will see it when it's done. The top part is finished that belongs to the second part. But that blooming shelf there, I'm still like, he was like, what if you print this picture off? And I was like, I'm not, I've painted everything by hand. I am not going to be printing a picture off to put it on a shelf. If it's going to be on there, it's going to be painted by hand. So we have had our differences. <laughs> So today's video is all about the June Geek Gear box. If you'd like to see what I get inside this box, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> okay, so before I get started, I want to thank a lady from Healing Hearts. Now this week marks the, the what would have been my mum's 70th birthday on Saturday coming and it, it's always an emotional day but I watch Harry Potter eat Chinese and everything is, is wonderful but bless this lady from Healing Hearts she made me a beautiful golden snitch ring but inside the golden snitch ring are my mother's ashes isn't that stunning so this has been made out of sterling silver and it is mine forever i can wear this and it will just be perfect i absolutely love it it's such a beautiful tribute i have one here called ashes to from ashes to glass which i had done just after my mum passed away but my mum was a massive harry potter fan and of course so am i as you <laughs> all know or you're not sure about i am a big harry potter fan she was a big harry potter fan so to know that her ashes are inside a golden snitch ring is incredible so thank you so much for, uh, for healing hearts for giving me this beautiful tribute to my mum now as you know today is all about geek gear june geek gear box now we have had these these clues hmm. now i'm mostly intrigued about the one where harry is chasing the key in the task for the philosopher's stone so yes i'm intrigued to see what's going on in this box now i have had some feedback about this box but i don't like listening to feedback I would rather know myself how this box is. So let's get started. So, it's a very light box this month. Um, so here we have Geek Gear for June 2020. And uh, let's have a look. It is very light. Oh, it's blooming colourful. Oh my God, I love it when they introduce boxes. Look at that. <gasps> Well, first of all, I love what looks like the t-shirt. So, I've got a feeling I'm gonna like this box. Okay, let's have a look at this t-shirt, shall we? Oh my God, I love that, look at the colors. I know the t-shirt's black. I know a lot of you are, are, are not happy about the fact they keep printing on black. Um, this is obviously from the last Geek Gear box with Luna Lovegood t-shirt. Uh, we all have light and dark inside us. What matters is the path that we choose to act on. That's who we really are. Bless Sirius for saying that to Harry because Harry was convinced that he was also turning bad with, the, uh, with, with Voldemort. That is a beautiful, beautiful t-shirt. That has got to be one of my favourites so far. 
I absolutely love that. That is stunning. I really like that. That is gorgeous. <sighs> okay, it's got to be done. I'm putting it on now. Oh, wow. Look at that t-shirt. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. I love it. I know it's black, but I really, really like that t-shirt. Sorry, Luna, you've been replaced. Right, okay, so what's next? Like, this is a really sparkly box that's looking at me at the moment, as you can see here. So we're going to have a look at this now. Now I've seen the back of it. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's got a little cup on it. <gasps> no way. Oh my God, Geeky, this is amazing. It's a copy of the cups that they drink out of in Hogwarts Great Hall. Oh my God. I absolutely love that. Look at that. Oh, Geek Gear, that is brilliant. That is absolutely perfect. I don't know if you guys know, but I like to recreate Hogwarts Great Hall table. Um, if you look at this photograph from Christmas, it's obviously the table is full of Christmas food, but I had the whole table set out looking like the Hogwarts Christmas feast. I tried, but these cups would be amazing if you could get hold of them. Geek Gear, please sell these on your website because I'll buy another three. I love it. Please, please, please. That is so beautiful. I like it a lot. That is stunning. Oh my God, Geek Gear, I love it. I really, really love it. Absolutely love that. Right. There's a sparkly... Oh, I like it a lot. My God, this box is brilliant so far. Flipping wiggly worms are all over the floor and I haven't even pulled them out of the box. A foal glass, apparently. Um, it says there, a foal glass to see your enemies coming. Is this meant to be like Latin on the sides? It's quite cool. I don't, because I, I would be great if you could do an English version. However, the English version is probably on the, uh, the explana explanation. <gasps> No way, that's so cute! Oh my god, look at this! It's a faux glass. Let's me see my enemies when, like, as if they're right behind me. Look at that! First scene with Mad Eye Moody in Goblet of Fire in his office, and you can actually see this in the Warner Brothers studio. Look at that. That is brilliant. Oh my god, I love it. 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 Oh my god, these items, the t-shirt, the the cup, the faux glass. So good. So good. Best box so far this year. All right, so this is Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, I like it. It looks like a cauldron. <gasps> Oh, it is a little, oh my God, this is perfect for one of my shelves. Oh my life, this is brilliant. Again, please sell these on the website because I will buy more. Look at that. It's a little cauldron. Oh my God. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh my God, Geeky, you have done so well this month. Well done. Oh my God. Last month, I've got to be honest, last month I wasn't that fussed on. I didn't really like it. It didn't do much to me. A lot of people liked it, but I wasn't one of them. Um, this month, oh yeah, definitely. That is stunning. I actually have a miniature version. Hold on. This came in my Snape um, Star Ace figure. Look at that. That's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, you guys. Well done. 
I also want to mention Patreon. Now, if you haven't joined Patreon, then have a look at all the benefits that you get for Patreon, including being able to buy my new pin badges before the whole general public. So make sure you check it out. These are the people that have been incredibly generous and are sponsoring me on Patreon. There are four tiers to choose from, so make sure that you take a look and see what one suits you best. But it is well, well worth it. There are so many perks to joining. And we also have a VIP group chat, which it's so brilliant. Everybody on there is so lovely. And they just talk about Harry Potter all day, every day, and all the type of things that they want to collect. A lot of amazing collectibles too. So take a look at it. It's incredibly wonderful to be a part of and an extension to your magical family. Also want to mention my pin badges. Now you remember my pin badges from two weeks ago that were sold. I only had a hundred of them and they sold out in 40 minutes, which was a huge shock to me. Now I have one pin remaining that I'm raising, I'm selling to raise money for the Lumos Children's Charity. The link is down below. There is a link to eBay. It is on auction. Um, I put it up for 99p and it has gone beyond that. Um, but again, it is for charity. So take a look. It does help raise money for a really important cause. This box is a strong box. The only thing I think that I would be critical of is everything's plastic. Um, for example, the cup would have been far better if it had been metal. And I think the cauldron, again, something metal, maybe the handle metal or something, and the faux glass. Yes, it's a real mirror, but it would have been nice if the base had been metal. I know it's probably more expensive to recreate, but it would have been a bit better. Right, I'm going to open the, the artwork now. I wasn't going to be honest, I'm not too fussed on the artwork, artwork from last month. Um, I was disappointed by that, only because I found it very anime, and I've never been a fan of anime. I know I'm probably going to be shouted at for that, but you know I gave you my honest opinion. Um, but anime's never been good to me. Right, oh, I like the colour of this so far. Oh my god! How amazing is that painting? Mad Eye Moody and Nymphadora Tonks and Kingsley Shacklebolt in the background. That's obviously the scene where they go to see Harry and order the Phoenix to rescue him from his home. What are you doing here? Rescuing you, of course. But uh, that is beautiful. I'm not a fan of of, um, of Tonks. I think in this picture she looks stunning. She's a beautiful actress anyway. Love Mad Eye, love Kingsley. But I've never really taken to Tonks. I don't know why. But that is beautiful. You've got the wand and obviously um, Mad Eye's staff there. Isn't that gorgeous? That painting is so realistic. Even the paint, the wallpaper in the background, which is obviously the famous wallpaper from Harry's, uh, from uh, the Dursley's house, which is awful. Look at the detail on that there. That is so beautiful. That face has got so much expression. Well done, my God, that's beautiful. An incredibly strong box this month, I have to say. On for my personal opinion, and you know I will give you my honest opinion. Right, so we have... Ah, oh, we have the charm. We have the charm. There's still items left, but we have the charm. Last month was a feather. Obviously, we didn't have one in the April box because they didn't have them in time. But this is a little sock. Dobby has been given a sock. Dobby has clothes. Dobby is free. There we are, is that it? How pretty is that little sock? You're such a dinky little sock, it's so cold, so cold. Dobby is free. That's very, very, very pretty. Again, I've got the feather, the feather's over in my jewelry box. I need to put them on the charm bracelet, I do. Very pretty, right. So we have, oh. I hope this isn't the same as the one before because we've had a flying key before. So this is a flying key. As you can see we've got the key there. Um, and obviously this would be the hint then that I said that I remembered. I'm just hoping it's not. No, it's not. It's different. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, that's so pretty. Very delicate, mind. Times like this, I start to rethink my entire shelves. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that flying key, the wingspan. Look at that. Very see-through, very light. 
that is so pretty. Oh, Geek Gear, this is a brilliant box this month, to be fair. Absolutely fantastic box this month. You guys have done an amazing, amazing job. Now, obviously, we had a flying key before from the Christmas version of Curation of Magical Curiosities. The Curation of Magical Curiosities. And it was a Christmas decoration that you obviously tree decoration. So I was worried that it was going to be that again, which obviously we've already had in a previous box. But it's not. I actually prefer this because this is more realistic to the ones in the film. That is so pretty. In fact, haven't I got that here somewhere? My, I was looking for the other key because I know I've taken it. I had it hanging up for a while, but my, my, my table and everything is just completely and utterly mental because obviously I'm still decorating. My, one of my shelves, I have my gold leaf delivered today, so my gold leaf is going to be going um, on parts of my shelves. And uh, it arrived today and I've never used gold leaf before. This isn't real gold leaf, it's artificial, so it's slightly cheaper. But it's gonna be so messy. I was speaking to my friend Sean Valentine of Valentine's Miniatures to ask him, how do I go about doing it? Um, so he's told me what to use, which I'm still waiting for. He said, PVA glue is fine for, for the moment, as long as you don't want it on a smooth surface. It's not meant to be a smooth surface where I'm putting it. So, yes. So it'll be a very, 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 very interesting. I can't wait to show you guys my shelves. They look so good. I really cannot wait. I'm still waiting for a paint to arrive for one of my shelves because I've got some of it left, but not enough. I've had two lots of paint to use on my other shelves now, so they've arrived nice. It's getting there. Oh, this is different. It looks more like parchment. Can you see that? I know it looked more like parchment before, but this is pretty, pretty cool. Right, so a massive thank you to Geek Gear. Oh, I'll have to check her out. A massive thank you to Geek Gear Wizardry, June 2020. Exclusive light and dark window t-shirt. Esmeralda Benny. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Exclusive faux glass replica. Draft of Living Death Cauldron. I didn't know that's what it was from, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Even though it's my favourite scene in the world. <laughs> um, Moody and Nymphadora community artist artwork. The stunning artwork is brought to you by Tony Blake. Well done, Tony Blake. Uh, show Tony some love on Facebook and Aunt Blake Art. Exclusive Great Hall Cup replica. I love it. Exclusive Flying Key replica. Beautiful exclusive monthly charm collection it says feather here but feather was last month so this month is a sock and congratulations to olivia rose our youtuber spotlight for today and all oh, next month's hint is the prisoner rascaban scene where they're in hogsmeade when harry finds out about the truth about sirius well the truth supposed truth when he uses invisibility cloak and knocks all those carol singers over oops so I think my favourite items is the t-shirt, definitely the t-shirt, I love this t-shirt, and the replica for the Great Hall Cup. Uh, that is such a lovely idea, So it's so simple, but it's such an amazing idea because we just absolutely love it. Now I have some items coming up that you might be interested in, including a discontinued Noble Collection item. Now I know it is discontinued, I've got this few people saying, will you still say it's discontinued? I know this is discontinued because I asked Noble Collection, like I normally do, and they've just confirmed this morning that it has been discontinued and well done for getting one. So I can't wait to show you this item because it is stunning. I got the last one in the shop. Thank you, Sam Haggett, for telling me about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And so you don't miss any more of my videos, hit the notification bell as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Press the like button, the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon.